STATE LAW REQUIRES ANIMAL SHELTERS ACROSS THE STATE TO ABIDE BY MINIMUM STANDARDS. BUT WHO'S MAKING SURE THEY'RE FOLLOWING THE LAW? WE SPENT MONTHS LOOKING INTO THIS. AS WKYT INVESTIGATIVE REPORTER MIRANDA COMBS FOUND OUT, THE ANSWER MAY ACTUALLY BE NO ONE. OKAY, MIRANDA, WHERE WE GO? MY PHOTOGRAPHER CAME HERE AN HOUR BEFORE ON HIS OWN TO CHECK THE PLACE OUT. STATE LAW REQUIRES COUNTY SHELTERS TO MEET A LIST OF MINIMUM STANDARDS. SOME THINGS WE RECORDED HERE WERE BELOW MINIMUM STANDARD. STANDING WATER, WATER BOWLS TURNED OVER, UNSANITARY HOLDING AREAS, TORN MAKESHIFT ROOFS OVER DOZENS OF PUPPIES, AND AN APPARENT PROBLEM WITH DRAINAGE. HEY, HOW ARE YOU? MIRANDA COMES, WKYT. We're doing a story on this is the supervisor standards. of the Kentucky River Regional Shelter. He didn't want to talk about what we saw at the shelter. Do you need help? Is it a funding issue? Is it just too many animals? I ain't got no comment. We stuck around and he got his chairman of the board, Tammy Noble, on the phone. And we've been working on a story trying to figure out what shelters in the state aren't up to their minimum standards by Kentucky legislation from 04, it was supposed to start in 07. So at this point in time, nobody knows how many of the counties are in compliance with the 2004 uh, laws. Cynthia Gaskill has started a study through the University of Kentucky to find out how many counties are in compliance with the 2004 Kentucky legislation that placed minimum standard requirements on county shelters. It also moved oversight and control of the law from the Department of Agriculture to the counties. No one at the state level has the, the power to enforce the laws and it created a situation of self-regulation by the counties. Very quickly found out it was not going to be um, as easy and as straightforward as I thought it would be. <laughs> Jennifer Sinsky released this report through the University of Louisville on the current state of Kentucky shelters. Since the minimum standards law was put in place, no one has checked to see how it's working. And they're not utilizing it. She found out not well. She filed open records requests with each county for animal records, which each shelter is required to keep as part of the 2004 legislation. Sinsky's intent was to start a database to share information and in turn improve shelter transparency. Only 66 of the 120 counties completed her request. There's no way to check up on any shelter to see if they are following this law. She says it's mostly because there's no enforcement from the counties where the shelters sit. The only enforcement right now is that if you live in that county and you decide to follow this up, you can potentially sue your county for not meeting the requirements. That's it. That's your only recourse. These are outside year round. And that's not good. You're required to have heat. Attorney Catherine Callahan has picture. Urine on the floor. After picture. I don't know if that animal can stand a full height. Which is required of by law. Of below standard shelters across the state. In your opinion, is there any excuse for any of this? For the ones that I've shown you, mm -hmm. no. Some of the counties didn't even know there was still money available. This shelter is run by a nonprofit and sits in Perry County. Perry, Letcher, Knott, and Breathitt counties all pay to bring their animals to this shelter. And I don't think that anybody would work in this situation and not be 100% an animal lover. So I'm not blaming anyone here. I'm wondering if the county needs to support this more. Noble tells me they're doing the best they can with what they have. The counties pay the shelter 22000 each a year for the shelter services. That's less than $90,000 a year total. Is it enough? The one that decides is the one writing the checks. And I reached out to all four judge executives with counties that feed into that shelter. The only one that returned my call was Zach Weinberg of Knott County. He said all the judges are looking at the issue. He says it takes time and money, and the counties are short on both. Mm. Mm. So he told you the situation at the shelter now is better than it was? He did, and he also says they have $400,000 set aside for renovations, but he did mention that when you've got four counties involved, large board, it's hard to make change. Maybe at some point we can follow this up mm -hmm. and see Absolutely. if anything changes in the next year or two. We will. All right, Miranda, thank you.